This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. It's the Ramble, and I'm Alex. We go until midnight tonight. From New York, New York, the city so nice they named it twice. Hi, how are you? Uh, welcome back to our program that nobody listens to, so we don't really care what we say or how we say it, okay? And uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, it, there are so many shows out there on the Internet. We thank you for choosing ours. All three of you. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it, it, too many people doing uh, uh, podcasts now. Uh, it's cheapened the idea of what radio is and what broadcasting is. And it, it's not even broadcasting. It's what we used to call in the business narrow casting. Uh, broadcasting was radio where the signal went everywhere and it was broad, right? So, anyway. Hi, I'm wearing my commie hat tonight. So uh, I, you know, I, because I'm gonna, we're gonna invite Phil in here in a second. Let me see if I can, uh, if I can admit him to our our little gathering, and uh, uh, and and uh, see how he is. Okay, uh, let me see here. He's w w way off to the side there. Okay, now we'll bring him in, and hello to Phil. Hello, Phil Meyer. How are you? Hey. How you doing tonight? Uh, my eyes have been burning for two days straight. There is something. There is something in the air. I don't know. It's in this apartment or whatever. And it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant. Yeah. Uh, do you think that but it's... But don't ever the, ask me how I am because I'll always start giving you a big litany of my uh, ailments, okay? Well, so. you know, it may be that there are dead bodies in the walls that are beginning to decompose. Who and knows? Who knows? <laughs> you know what you know, Marjorie found today? Marjorie said to me, are, are you up? I said, yeah, I'm up. You know, yeah. the first thing that I, in the morning, it's always something like, oh, there's something wrong with my computer. I can't fix it right now. Can you fix it for me? And I'm going, I just woke up. Okay. So this morning it was, Alex, would you do me a favor? I said, yeah. She's in the living room. Uh, would you bring me, uh, would you bring in a, a piece of uh, paper towel? So I rip off a piece of paper towel. And I go in there. I said, what do you want to do with this? And she says, look. And on the floor, dead, is a, the, a, just a giant cockroach. Like that. They can get up that high? Huh? Eight floors? I don't, they can get in anywhere. <laughs> I'll tell you what I think happened. I, we yeah. haven't seen, I think I've seen maybe in the whole 10 years I've been, we've been here, 11 years we've been here, maybe, maybe um, five roaches. I bet you your neighbors sprayed. No, I, I know it's happening. They're doing all this work on the building, uh. you know, and, and it, it just dislodges them. But, I mean, he was lying there dead, you know, and so I had to pick the thing up. I don't know why she thinks I was any more able to pick that thing up than she would be, but she yeah, goes, well, it gives me the willies. I said, well, what do you think it gives me? <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, at the store, uh, we get some cockroaches, and I, I have the warehouseman spray this stuff. It's a powder, mm -hmm. and uh, about every three months he sprays, and then in the next morning there is a cockroach holocaust on the floor. Uh, you know, there's 20. You, you want me to tell you about a Holocaust for roaches? Yeah. So I lived in this apartment that was just roach ridden. You know, I mean, I did everything I could to get rid of them. This was years ago when, you know, they lived between the floors. When somebody moved out downstairs, they all came up to pay a visit to you. Okay. Of course. Yeah. So in the kitchen, I found that they, they had a tendency if I had an open box of cereal to go mm -hmm. into the open box of cereal. They'll so, get in even if it's Tupperware. I don't know how they get well, in. So so w what I did, okay, yeah. was I took this package of cereal that had been opened and up there for about three months, and I put it on the counter, right? 
And then I took, I, I found this spray. It was called La Bamba. Yeah. And it had pyrethrin in it, which really. That, that's it. It, yeah, it, that's it, kills, spray. it kills roaches, but it doesn't right. kill you. Okay. Right. It's completely safe to humans. It doesn't even pets. harm animals. No. Yeah, but it's deadly to them. I don't know. I was the best. Uh, it was well. It was it was called La Bamba because it was made in Puerto Rico. And I figure oh. if anybody knows about roaches, it's the Puerto yeah. Ricans. Okay. Absolutely. So I uh, I I took the spray, and I opened up the box and I sprayed into it as mm. much of this La Bamba as I possibly could. And then I moved away, and all of a sudden this box of cereal started bouncing wow. on the counter, right? And all of a sudden these cockroaches come swarming out. I mean, maybe a hundred of them out of this, out of this box of cereal. Wow. Uh, and then they're all lying on top of the counter, spinning around on their backs, you know, yeah. and with little X's on their eyes, you know, they were little <laughs> cartoon roaches. Yeah. And it, but it was like, it just bounced up and down. It moved, it had a life of its own. That's a, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't see any when we sp spray that pyrethrin yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, we spray it at the perimeter walls. And, uh, you know, the, the next morning, uh, they're vacuuming up cockroaches. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, know. I, I uh, uh, we have a guy that comes in every about every three months. There's a knock on the door, a ring on the doorbell rings and. Uh, exterminator and I said okay come in and, and usually he gets we haven't seen as I say we've seen maybe five roaches maybe not even that in 10 years well, that's pretty good because New York City they they have uh, other infestations I think uh, is it either mice or rats or, or something well uh, we have had a few mice yeah you know we found a way of getting rid of them and that's peppermint spray Wow. There's a peppermint spray, and you use a peppermint spray, and they hate peppermint, so, you know. I put out peppermint patties all over the place. So yeah. They, <laughs> no, but they hate peppermint. I'd end up eating them. <laughs> they hate the smell of peppermint. And yeah. and then we didn't see any we didn't see any rats. I told you, you remember the squirrel, don't you? The squirrel story? No, when no. We, when we first moved in, yeah. I'm walking down the hallway, and all of a sudden, on the side of my eye, I think I see something darting. But I don't know what it is, and I figure it's nothing. It's, you know, sometimes in your own head you see stuff, you know. So I go in. I'm in the kitchen. I've decided to make myself a little food. And I'm sitting at the counter and I'm starting to eat. And all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I, I see something, what seems to be a, another presence in the apartment. <laughs> and I look over into the living, into the dining room, and it's a squirrel. Was the window open? You know, yeah, the they window can, was open. They can come, they can come up the gu rain gutters. And well, who like knows that. where he came from? Okay, yeah. but uh, I'm sure he came through the window. He didn't like suddenly get a key to the apartment and come through the front door. You know. Yeah. So I, 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 I go, wow, you know. So I take the, I go run over to him, and I, he runs towards the window. But he's not running out the window, and I'm standing there going, "Go out the window, go out the window." And he's looking at me, going, nice "He's guy. looking at me like this, <laughs> you know." And finally, yeah. I just yelled and screamed at the top of my lungs, and he darted out the window. Well, now, wow. cut to a day later. Yeah, I'm watching the six o'clock news on Channel Four, and they say an odd and unusual story down in Harlem today. Uh, the CVS at uh, 116th and Malcolm uh, uh, Malcolm X uh, Boulevard uh, was visited today by a squirrel who got oh. loose in the in the place and was running around and everything. And I thought to myself, well, he moved down the street. Yeah. It's probably the same squirrel because yeah, this well, squirrel you heard about the sale at CVS. Right. <laughs> he was there for he was there for, to get a vaccination. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But so, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I like your stories of cockroaches and squirrels. Yeah, I was riding up the elevator. Yes, I should have titled this episode Cockroaches and Squirrels. You know, I, I always wondered why you didn't have any clickbait on your uh, on your uh, daily on your shows. You know, something that would get people to to click on it rather than just saying, I don't care. I don't care to do it because I don't like the term clickbait. OK. 
I don't right. care. I just don't care. I don't yeah. care if one person listens to this thing, just well, as long as I get through the hour and a half without dying. <laughs> well, you know, I was watching something this morning that was saying that you should do less social media because the likes that uh, you get or the views are actually producing dopamine. And, they're, uh, and the person that is posting uh, is, is, is getting this dopamine rush by people either liking or, uh, or, or friending or, or whatever it is that they do. Uh, and, you know, it's not, as, it's not productive. It's just a, a waste of people's time. I, I'm not getting, I don't get a rush at all. No, yeah, but, I don't get yeah. a rush at all. But you look, you look for those things, and if you well, get I look to see how favorite. we're doing. You know, I mean, I used to do a morning show that played to twenty thousand people per quarter. I remember per, I was per, there per quarter hour. Okay, yeah. maybe sometimes three hundred thirty thousand, but average about twenty twenty five thousand. You had a six share at Camel, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So Which, I mean, so you know, I was used to having a large audience, and now to look at it, and I've had two hundred people listen yesterday. You know. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. You know, why am I doing this? What am I doing this for? I, I know well, I, I always say that it, it's, and I'm it's still here. What? Yeah, it's a different it's a different medium. Hey, so you wait, know, a minute, was... so, wait a minute. So guess what we got this week? Uh, what did you get? I finally uh, have decided to go the whole full Monty on this deal. And I signed up and got a Hulu TV plus hmm. where you get uh, it's like having a you know a cable system. It's like it's like you have with Sling or what do you, who do you use? You, uh, I've got uh, uh, um, YouTube TV. Yeah, YouTube TV, which they say is very good. Yes, yeah. yes, I'm, well, I'm very happy. Well, with it. I liked Hulu because on top of it, it's five dollars more, but I get the Disney bundle par as part of the deal. Yeah. All for well seventy five dollars, and then I'm paying another nine ninety five so I can have it on as many sets as I want at one time. I see. Because Marjorie wants to watch in the living room, and then she wants to watch in the kitchen, and then she wants to watch in the office. And you know, if we have to turn off one to get another to work, that would get annoying, and yeah. I don't want that. So, I actually so, stopped watching in the bedroom about five years ago. There's yeah. a TV there, but I hadn't turned it on in five years. Yeah, really. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, how then how do you jerk off to porn? <laughs> I have a cell phone. <laughs> uh, no, but anyway, so I got this and I really like it. I mean, it it's it's, you know, I mean, it's a little it's a little it's a tad more clumsy than using a cable box, but it's right. it's pretty good. Once but the you only, set up but your the, favorites. Yeah. 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 I, I think once you set up your favorites, you'll be fine. Well, what happens is the the, the only problem is Hulu has put this into their um, their their site so that if you're subs you subscribe to this now a lot of the live shows not mm -hmm. only show up in the live section where you can go through everything but yeah. also there's like a, a list of live programs live news programs live this live that you know that you mm -hmm. just click on it just on the splash page of Hulu but the yeah. other problem is, is that it also carries things like it's running the 80s and uh, uh, the history of uh, something else. And these were produced by CNN. They're not part of Hulu, but they are part of their live service. So uh -huh. as a result, they post these things on Hulu and those you have to watch with commercials. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, you pay, you have the Hulu without commercials. Without commercial. Now, the Hulu stuff, there are no commercials, but they don't tell you. They should put a little C at the bottom of each icon yeah. <laughs> when there are commercials in it, you know, so that we know that we don't want to go click there because we don't want to watch commercials. Well, I, I've been, uh, I have the YouTube without commercials, not YouTube TV, but just regular YouTube. Yeah. Uh, which, which I like because I used to have to press skip all the time. Now, now people are uh, getting uh, sponsors, and they're spending a minute and a half uh, in in their presentation. Yeah, uh, pitching yeah, their yeah. sponsors. Whether it's gold, well, or I pay I pay that eleven bucks a month to get yeah. YouTube Premium, so I don't have to watch the damn commercials before everything. I right, but now the presenters are uh, creating commercials. Well, yeah, they're putting them in the shows. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so, but at least you can you can. Uh, I'm, ad I, I'm addicted yeah. to YouTube. I just start watching it, and then next thing I know, it's seven o'clock in the morning. You know. Yeah. Well, I I get up I get up early. I get up at yeah. four uh, for my uh, so I could be ready for my exercise class at five forty five, mm -hmm. and I watch a few minutes of the news, make some coffee, and uh, YouTube. Every uh, morning I get up at five o'clock to go to my exercise class. Uh, and then I decide, fuck it, and I go back to sleep. So that's uh, that's it. Now, does does Marjorie still get up at five? No, no. Uh, she used to do for no. work. No, right? I looked over the other day. It was not, almost nine o'clock. She was still asleep. <laughs> and I went, I when when I see that, I feel I have to poke her a little bit to see if she's still alive. Oh, you know, right. to feel her yeah. to see well, if there's a pulse. Just put a, a mirror. Put a, you know, put a mirror. See if she can fog a mirror. Yeah. Uh, now. Uh, one other thing I wanted to ask you about, she you said that she was getting those uh, fruits and vegetables in a pill. Yes, she uh, gives me one every morning. Do they work? Are, are they any good? Do I look healthy to you? Well, for for your age, yeah. Oh. You, it, I don't find it does anything. No. Yeah, I don't find it. I don't find any appreciable difference in There are different colors. There's like three capsules of different colors and uh, no, no. In this case, this, 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 she doesn't go with those. She goes with another brand that's cheaper and better, supposedly. Ah, okay. And uh, uh, so I, you know, I do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Makes uh, now, good. I was riding up in the elevator this afternoon on my way home from work, and uh, one of the other tenants who just got back from Israel says, "Did you hear BB Netanyahu won? Mm -hmm. did, did he win the election?" Yeah, well, they're just as crazy as we are. I mean, the guy's a crook. Yeah. Well, he's gonna, he's gonna, you know, what is he a crook because he took some cigars? You know, you know he, that... he supposedly it's a lot more than that. He, he's, yeah. he, you know, here's a guy who I think at one point was pretty good. You know, he, you know. Uh, he, at least he sp spoke English well because he grew yeah. up in Brooklyn. Uh, but uh, I, you know, he was okay. But then he got full of himself, and after a while, you start feeling uh, a sense of entitlement. You know, yes. and well, that's most and that's most what, politicians. Yeah. Most yeah. politicians feel that, you know, it, it, it's it's funny, uh, uh, you know, the, the power corrupts and uh, absolute power. Uh, you want to know what you, you want to know what really is galling me, though, lately. What's that? All these people who are trying to spin the Nancy Pelosi husband beating oh yeah. Well, there's right and left spins. Yeah, on but that. I mean, but no, there's no right spin. There's no, this, no, 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 right wing and left wing spin. No, but there is no right wing, left wing spin because it, they were, we're only saying what happened. The guy got beaten up with a hammer for crying right. out loud. But what they're doing is like over at Fox, they were saying, well, you know, uh, I think it was Hannity said, oh, well, it wasn't a break in because the windows were broken like they were inside. They were inside out. And it's not true. The police said it was broken into. You know, they um, even have video of the guy breaking the window from the outside. But I don't, you know. But I mean, it's it's hard hard wait, 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 wait a minute. How did, Here's yeah. somebody gets unmercifully beaten. Okay. Yeah. So his much head, so. His soul got split, you know. Yeah, he had to go into surgery and they, you know, they were worried about his life for a while there. But he made it and he's okay and that's wonderful. But nevertheless, I mean, come on. You don't spin any of this. You know, I, it, it's a terrible thing, you know, uh, and uh, even during the Trump times, you had uh, what was her name? Uh, Waters or uh, what? What was that? Uh, Maxine uh, Waters. Maxine Waters yeah. said, that, you know, you should uh, people in the in the Trump government, for instance, you shouldn't give them any quarter. You uh, d if they're out at dinner, you should uh, you well, should harass. I, oh, them. I agree with that. It's, well, I, I no, I, I agree with that. I don't it's think. Different. Well, I you know I I'm the person that booed Henry Kissinger at a, at a Broadway play when they introduced him and people were applauding him. I booed and I got well, tackled. By the way, I got tackled. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but glad. I felt my feeling was that he shouldn't go anywhere without knowing that there are people who were not happy with his Vietnam. Well, you uh, you uh, know, there's a situation. time and a place to boo him. And I don't know. I don't. That, I don't. Th there's there, there's a time and a place to kill people, but he didn't do that. He t just went over to Vietnam and killed them anywhere, anytime. You know. Yeah. I, what I'm saying is 
th these people should not feel that they can just go out in the general public and not have to deal with the feelings that well, are opposed what, to this. Kind of, what kind of leaders are we going to be able to elect uh, that have to uh, uh, be exposed to this kind of harassment? No, you just don't go into public places where this is going to happen. And I'm saying this because you're running for public office, you're a public servant, you've decided to run for public office and all that that entails. And part of that should be that the downside is you can't go out in general public. And, and, and don't you want uh, a, 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 a person that can mix with the with the public, listen to what the public has to say? Do you, do you now, think do you think that, have... that an asshole like Ted Cruz uh, 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 flies a coach? Uh, probably. No. No. Yeah. Come on. Well, uh, oh, talking about uh, uh, a couple of other things. Uh, the Supreme Court, what do you think of that affirmative action suit uh, that uh, is uh, that Harvard is involved with? Uh, the I guess their SAT scores can be 1,100 if you're black. It's got to be 1,300 if you're white. And if you're Chinese, you can't get in. What, what, you know, uh, what, how do you think the Supreme Court's going to uh, work with that? I'm going to say that they're going to go with a right-wing agenda. They're going to go with the let's do away with the affirmative action. I think they're going to do that. Uh, however, I don't think, uh, in my opinion, that that's a very wise idea. I mean, I, I look, I understand. I, I think there should be a revision of affirmative action. I think for a while it was a good thing because we had to make up for lost time. Okay, would you agree with that? Yeah, you know? I, yeah, people. Yeah. Uh, we had to make up for a, lost time. Up. We've had affirmative action for how many years now? 20, 25 years? Huh? 50? Uh, wasn't it 68? I don't uh, know when it first started. But, you know, now I think you should still have affirmative action, or maybe you won't even call it affirmative action, but equal action, where, yeah. where people <laughs> have an equal opportunity to get in, but you're not going overboard to get them in. Before you yeah. had to because there weren't enough. But on a level of someone that's applying to Harvard, don't you think that uh, it should be based on uh, uh, grades and merit, and not on color? Yeah, but you see, you have to understand that the argument back then was if, if, if you, you didn't have the grades and you didn't have the merit because you were black and you didn't get to go to the right schools and so on and so forth, you, you couldn't get into Harvard. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. you went to Harvard back in the 50s. Do you think you ever saw any black people at Harvard? Very rarely. And it was Very also rarely. probably 2,000 a year. Yeah. Now yeah. you probably see a lot of them, number one, because yeah. of affirmative action, but secondly, because now they do have the opportunity to get the education prior to going into Harvard to yeah. be qualified for Harvard. Yeah. So maybe it's time that things equaled a little I bit. I don't, more. I think, yeah, I think it maybe, maybe affirmative action should be revised, but yeah. not totally done away with because if you totally do away with it then the people who predominate at those universities and so on which may be white instead of black or, or Chinese I don't or whatever Chinese Indian because I don't think the yeah. whites uh, have the um, uh, the uh, scores uh, in general uh, that compete with Indian students and Chinese students. They but, study a lot but, harder. You know, I think that I think there had to be affirmative action at that point in time yeah. as to whether it is still as important today. Mm -hmm. I mean, but uh, the question is, if you do away with it, let's say, will we yeah. still have a lot of blacks getting into colleges and universities? And will that? I mean, I don't. I don't think. I don't think we're truly colorblind when we do affirmative action because you're saying you're black, you have an easier time than this person who is white, and that is, that's not colorblindness. Okay. So, uh, uh, I want to. I want to see us be colorblind, where yeah. it's hey, you, you know, you got the scores, uh, you know, and and yeah, also because it. blacks do have the, uh, the ability to get the education to qualify yeah. them for college that they didn't back in the 50s, okay? Now, there, so there the, are also uh, uh, black colleges that I guess Trump uh, put in some funding that uh, wasn't gonna run out. Uh, I guess they had to re-up that funding every couple of years and Trump did some move that 
uh, allowed these black colleges to uh, to continue to be funded without having to. Uh, it was sort of an evergreen uh, type of thing. Yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm not familiar yeah, I don't know that. too much about that. Yeah. Now, hmm. Twitter, uh, the bots, the, uh, the the verified accounts. You know, I thought originally when I first heard uh, Kramer, uh, you know, the guy that says "booyah" uh, on the, uh, mm -hmm. he said it was going to be twenty dollars a month. Uh, then uh, I guess Elon Musk comes out and says, "No, it's going to be eight dollars a month." And mm -hmm. he said why he was doing it, and it made a shitload of sense. I agree with you. I totally yeah. agree with you. And it, yeah. it tell well, you tell him why. He's going to get rid of the bots. Well, it's not necessarily going to get rid of the bots. Bots but it aren't going to pay. Bots don't don't have a credit card. Right. Okay. And, yeah. And they're, uh, you know, they have to be verified accounts. So if all of a sudden, you know, and I'm, I was wondering, I said, you know, I would support that. I mean, I don't use Twitter. And, uh, and and the only reason I had a Twitter account originally was to hear what Trump had to say. They took Trump off of Twitter. And I said, well, I have no reason to want to be on Twitter. Uh, but so with this uh, verified accounts, let's say uh, uh, Twitter, when they sold them the thing for 44 billion, they said this 5% of the accounts are bots. And uh, now let's say uh, he said larger than that. I think it was something like 40%. Oh, uh, well, no, this was uh, the guy with the beard who owned uh, Twitter the, oh. before Elon Musk. Yeah. And so he said in the deal it was 5%. Some whistleblower said it was 25%. Now it's going to be interesting to see how many accounts are really left once uh, they institute this uh, verified account thing. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a great idea. Well, no, I, th I agree with you. I mean, I think it makes a lot of sense. It's a way of being able to weed out those bots. Uh, yeah. You know, which, by the way, folks, the bots are what were causing the problem in this country with like the election and so on, because yeah. Russia was bombarding and China was bombarding Twitter with bots that were saying yeah. things. Uh, and 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 yet you couldn't verify they were a human being. They were just a machine who was posting all this stuff. Well, if you're if you're if you're if it's unverified, then you don't believe necessarily what the bot what the the tw tweet what, what says. It says but if it's verified you do but if you're verified and it's a bot that's not a good idea but if it's verified and now you have to pay eight bucks and post a, a credit card uh a bot can't post a credit card it's ridiculous or doesn't want so to. i think it's a good <laughs> idea i think it's a yeah. very good idea you know because they had thousands and thousands of bots uh, it, it, that were saying the same message, but yeah. from uh, different people. And so it, it was yeah. one. You know. Yeah, Marjorie is very worried about, and a lot of people I talked to are very worried about, oh, well, Trump will be able to get back on Twitter. Well, and, they're, they're going to have a, uh, not they, a council. They're going to have a committee. A committee. A committee that will, will look into this and decide whether it's unreasonable or not. And it's, it, it, he is not going to be, I think, part of that committee. He's literally going to have people from various walks of life who are going to be on this committee to decide it. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I, you know, I, I don't feel, uh, Marjorie, feel, oh, uh, uh, Musk is dangerous. Well, I don't feel he's dangerous. I think, in fact, he's Pretty amazing. Smart. He's yeah. amazing. Uh, and, he, and in the end, when history writes the, the life of Elon Musk, hopefully it's going to write it as one who got us, in, uh, got us to Mars and changed the entire, it got, it got rid of gasoline-powered uh, things on this planet. You know, I mean, I, I think he has so far made a tangible change in the planet. Yeah. And will continue and to do so one. and continue to do so. And the only thing that bothers me about his whole Twitter thing is I think it's kind of a side deal. It's not important to the rest of what he's doing. But it's important to him because it's important to there him. wasn't yeah. there wasn't free speech on the Internet and uh, and and legitimate speech. And and, you know, I'm amazed. I never would have thought. Hey, just verify these accounts, make people pay, and you eliminate all of this, uh, you know, bots and BS that that. That's well, there'll still be phony stuff on there that bots do, but it won't say right. verify. It, it won't be verified. Uh, anyway, hey, listen, uh, I think there are people here. Okay, I got two more things for you. Though. Yeah. Okay, 
uh, yeah. it, uh, uh, one thing that was interesting was uh, Apple is now valued at more than Amazon, Facebook, and Google combined. Uh, who, also, what, what who is uh, Apple? Yeah. Uh, is is valued more than those three? Well, no, I I can see that because they have a hardware they sell. Yeah, you know, at enormous prices. I might add. I mean, I'm talking to you on a computer that cost me uh, twenty six hundred dollars, for instance. Yeah, you know, it's the best computer uh, I ever I'm owned. Still, but I'm still waiting for B and H to get my uh, screens in. But once I get the screen, I'll probably get the same computer as you right after that. Yeah, well, uh, you you and, don't you don't need it. You know what you can get. You can get a you're gonna get a Mac Mini M2, and you're gonna do just fine. Well, I, I've got the, the the Mac Pro, but uh, yeah, I don't but know that that was overkill for you. It wasn't overkill for me because I needed that kind of power here. This thing I need this kind of power, but you don't need this much. I got to tell you, I have a Mac Mini M1, yeah. and it's a very powerful seven hundred dollar machine. Wow, yeah. Yeah, well, it's terrific. You know, with with the Apple, not Apple, with the uh, with the stuff uh, when I'm rendering photos, and I have 47 megapixel camera, uh, you really need some power. But uh, oh, one other thing before we go, uh, Munez, uh, his sexual assault case. They are saying that Munez, uh, Moonvez, Moonvez, uh, yes, Moonvez, uh, Moonez. Yeah. Well, now, uh, what was uh, he was. Uh, was that CBS? What was he the uh, head of? CBS. CBS. Yeah. yeah. It, it seems that the LAPD has covered up his uh, his sexual assault case. I th I have no idea about that. No. I, I don't care. No, but it was in the news tonight. Okay, so you th you threw huh? you threw now? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, except for the fact that fifty three percent is is what they're saying that the Republicans are going to take the Senate. But uh, why, why don't we bring them in? Well, I, I don't I don't know that that's going to happen. I mean, we're get, we're going to have to wait and see. We'll, we'll talk about that in, during this okay. uh, once we bring some people. Yeah, in I was here. just throwing out some stuff because so they're all they're all they all want to join in. There's Kevin and oh. there's uh, you threw in? there's Alan and the, there's uh, there's Jeff and there's uh, Charlie. Hello, all of you. How are you this evening? Hello, hello. Say hello to uh, the wonderful world of... Uh, 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 what's that? Uh, uh, I think Jeff's got background noise. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's uh, family problems. Fra family problems? <laughs> I'm saying that nicely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a piece of information here that you, you guys are going <clears> to <throat> like. This is, this is strange. Um... Who do you guys think is the number one show in late night? Uh, uh, that guy on Fox. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, starts with a G. Gutfeld. Anybody else have an opinion? Jimmy Kimmel. I don't know. Mm -hmm. How about you, Alan? Any guess? Um, I, I'm sorry. I, I, my my sound was off. What was the question? I'm sorry. You never pay attention to this show anyway when we're doing it. <laughs> I do. I wish somebody else would host it other than you. No, I'm just teasing. So you're you may host. get your wish. By the way. No, no, no. You're a good uh, host. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you keep complaining that you're not. Got, you don't have your shit together, but you do. Late night. Late night. Late night. Yeah. Talk shows. You mean after eleven? Yeah. 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 At ten, eleven thirty-five. You know that slot. Yeah, yeah. After eleven. Uh, I would think Kimmel at this point. Mm-hmm. How about you, Alan? Any ideas? Could be Colbert. I think Colbert. Okay. Nobody here said Fallon. I have no idea. Nobody oh, here. I said Fallon, yeah. No, nobody here said Fallon. No. Yeah. I, yeah. I think he's died off. It, well, I, he's certainly not that great. Uh, well, uh, the winner of this contest here was Phil. What's the guy's name again? Gutfeld. He, Gutfeld. Gutfeld. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Where the hell is he? Fox. You know, Fox. He's over at Fox. He, uh, last oh, uh, last Tuesday night, he beat all of them. 
Really? Uh, yeah, he had 2.5 million viewers. That's right. I know the. I know you. Yeah, but that's his second. That's his second uh, broadcast, though, isn't it? Isn't he do, go on earlier and then they repeat it? No, I think that's the late night now. He just does the late night, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, let's see here. It was even more dominant than uh, well all the other uh, uh, cable news channels. And then it said, where where's the where are the statistics here? Well, anyway, he beat out. He beat out. Kimmel, he beat out Fallon, he beat out Colbert. I'd rather watch a turd circle the toilet and go down. Well, I, I like <laughs> him. I like him, but I I really prefer reruns of Johnny Carson. Yeah, well, you you know, know. there was something about Johnny Carson when I when I was you know when yeah, he was on. Johnny Carson was good. Yeah, he was. It was great. I, I mean, I, I see nothing I wrong with this guy existing because in that late night uh, universe. Uh, there, it's pretty hard to find somebody without a political opinion. Yeah, you know, I mean, Colbert's very politically opinionated. Uh, Kimmel certainly is. He's uh, all over it. Yeah, yeah he's all over it. Uh, and uh, you know, I mean, I like Kimmel best of all of them. But you know, uh, hmm. what a Fallon's kind of soft, but Fallon is not good. No, but he's Fallon, soft. Fallon's terrible. He he gets he's done, a, he he's done real it. soft. What what are you sorry about? What is it? What when I watched it? Sounds terrible. I'm sorry. What I, I, I somehow I thought I was talking to it. A, anyway, where am I? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, Kimmel. No, uh, 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 Fallon. Fallon. You were. Yeah, Fallon. <laughs> Fallon does a stand up at the beginning of his show, and he's terrible at it. He's just. Like he's he's, asleep these days. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's ghastly at it. Uh, so you know what the hell. So, but you know, this guy Gutfeld. Godfell, that guy? Yeah. I like him, but he's, <laughs> but I don't think he's in the same league as uh, what was the guy that got thrown oh, off a of fox for uh, goose oh, and girls? Bill, Bill O'Reilly. But he's not. The, it's not. He he's not doing that kind of show. I know, but he <laughs> sort of took over that slot, didn't he? No, no. Because Bill O'Reilly, Bill O'Reilly had a was much on at seven, audience. Bill O'Reilly was on at seven o'clock at night. Oh. But he had a yeah. I think he had a larger audience than all of them. Oh no, he had the top audience on Fox. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know he had a talk show. Does he and, even have people? And, on he, this? and he has two and a half million. But I think Hannity has a few more than that. Uh, you know, mm. but, but but Hannity isn't the big gun over there anymore. No. Uh, who is? No. I think I think it may be. Uh, it may be Tucker Carlson. I maybe. That's a possibility. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so. Yeah, you know, but I think Hannity's got a bigger audience than Tucker Carlson. No, no, I no. think so. No, mm. no, his audience has been going down. Yeah, uh, as the years have gone by. It's, Did Tucker Carlson use that stare when you uh, uh, worked with him? You, you ever you notice? You when know, I can't remember. We were never in the same room together. He was in New Jersey, and I was on Forty uh, Second Street. And Fifth Avenue in uh, New York City. You know. He has this stare, like he's so intently listening to someone, it's almost scary. No, so it looks like he's crap. trying to intently look like he's listening to somebody when he's not. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's how. That's the look. Like he's on the toilet. That's the look. You know. Uh, it's like but, a cat taking a crap from the litter box. Uh, yeah. I, I wouldn't go there, but you know, he's he's very intense. <laughs> Wait a minute. What does it say? And I take. The fifth, and I don't know nothing. What are you, Colonel Clink? And I don't see nothing. <laughs> he's Colonel Clink. But he just keeps rolling along. I don't know <laughs> what. Well, Sergeant Schultz. That, that's Sergeant. Trump and the clutch when they brought him in New York. I don't know nothing. I don't see nothing. <laughs> you know, you, yeah, Tony, you left off at the end of nothing. You left off, so said Trump 50 times. Every night I make a full yeah. cup of coffee. And tonight I decided, I looked at my coffee that I made this morning, and it was still half full, so that's what I'm drinking now. So See, you're an optimist. Half empty. No, I'm tired. I'm tired. Not half, half empty. empty. I'm tired of wasting, you know. Yeah, I used to take my coffee and make iced coffee with it and put it in the refrigerator. Why? I don't like, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like iced coffee. I don't mind you're cold right. coffee, but I don't I like don't iced mean, coffee. Sometimes I change up, though. You know, I'll have some iced coffee. In the summer, I like iced coffee. Give me a give me a minute, Alex. I'll go make you a fresh uh, cup. Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. I have one too. 
fly it on yeah. <laughs> No problem. I got a cure. I get this quick. But uh, now Phil was talking about uh, uh, the Republicans are going to have a 53% chance, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the Democrats have had a bad time of it. And they've had a bad time of it because of myths that are being promulgated out there. Um, and let me explain this. Crime is not that terrible right now. It really isn't. And yet the press has built up the fact that it is, and the Republicans make a big deal out of it. Do you feel safe in your own home and blah, blah, blah? And yet if you look at the statistics, it's not really that bad. In fact, crime in New York today, yeah, it's more than it was last year, but it's not like it was in the, in the, in the 60s or the 70s. That's Paul Pelosi. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. you know, you... They, they built up Halloween like all our kids are going to die oh, in the streets. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. By, by, by the way, by the way. Because fentanyl was in your yeah. Skittles Kim, everywhere. Kimmel the other day showed a, a, just a, a medley of all these people from Fox saying, Skittle, you know, fentanyl in the Skittles, fentanyl in the Skittles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's fentanyl in the, your kids' candy and blah, 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 blah. Do you know We're how many? We're going to die on Halloween. In all of <laughs> Halloween this year, how many tons of Skittles and candy were shoved in kids' little China is baskets? invading us. They're coming across and, the border. And, and, and how Halloween. many cases, how many cases of fentanyl did they find in candy? Not on my block. No, there was a right. rainbow. I know, no, no, no. Forget about the rainbow. It looks ah. like candy, but it did. They weren't using it for that. They were just using it for branding, really. Zero. No kids wound up having fentanyl in their candy. Because nobody trick or treated. But, they were but afraid of you, the ha you have somebody like like Fox is scaring people this way and then you ask them what is the main problem today well of course it's the economy and then it's uh, it's crime well no it isn't really you know there are a lot of other problems we got skittle fentanyl uh, what uh, it's skittle fentanyl is what they it's say skittle fentanyl yes uh, yes tony it's funny you said that with that because when we were kids i, I remember this because i was asking my sister this my mother took us trick-or-treating it had to be i had to be about eight or nine but i remember it we went the rumor was that when they only went with me and my mother and my sister because we were dressed up, I was. And the rumor was they were going to put like razor blades in the candy. Oh, yeah. So it used to be yeah. razor blades in the Alex, candy. we came home and I was all happy to get to my bag of candy. My mother went into the kitchen with it and threw most of it all down the garbage. Just she use a magnet. I bought your own candy. Eat this. <laughs> nah, you just, just use a magnet on it. You threw half of my candy. Yeah. Whatever was loose went in the garbage. You're not eating this. She was looking at it like an inspector. Well, she said, I uh, bought your own candy. Well, that's why. So, uh, that's why so Charlie's, much. Charlie's got his hand up. That's yeah. Uh, uh, that's why. Uh, go to you in a second, Charlie. That's why uh, uh, everybody has this attitude that we're you know we're, we're well anyway. Yes, Charlie. Now I just want to point out that eight of the ten worst states for crime are Republican-run states. The red states, southern red states. What do you mean? Look no, at California, he, he, New York, Illinois. Yes, you want I'm crime? Will you, 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 you listen to what he? Florida, you, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. Yeah, these are the worst there. states. You know they are high crime states, but if you look at the thousands of people that are being killed in in uh, Ch Chicago and 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 these blue Chicago, states, but you know, wait a minute, New York. It's not that bad. It's just not good. It's just not that bad. How would you know? You don't go outside. It's worse. It's worse. In, it is worse in Chicago. And I'm, a lot of these states he mentions, it is worse. He simply said of the what? The top five? Of the top ten, eight ten. of the top ten states for crime are, are red states. <clears throat> so, uh, so, we're, so we're giving you New York and we're giving you Chicago, uh, Illinois. But, Illinois, yeah. But, you know. Yeah. And, you know, we uh, we have we have a mental health problem and it's not being taken care of. And, you know, look <laughs> at Paul Pelosi, that that what guy are is going to do for that. They have no, no, they have no they have not put forth any any uh, solutions. Well, to that. Yeah, they're, they're going to commit all the Democrats to the institution. Phil, but, uh, Phil, 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 they are unrepentant. The Republicans, they complain, they say, oh, this is horrible what happened to Paul Pelosi. But they take no responsibility for creating the atmosphere that made it happen. 
because I think Obama created that atmosphere. He was. How is that? How is that? Oh, really? Oh, really? How and how? I mean, did he really make people want to kill people? Well, he sent out a message of division. You know, did he really? Uh, and he continues to do it. Wait a minute, uh, here, well, hold on a second. How many here heard that message of division from Obama? I never heard a message I, of division. I missed that speech. I must have uh, missed yeah. that one. And 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 Brian's eating fentanyl Skittles. No, don't eat them. Skittles the good are buzz. so good. I don't know what <laughs> what they're doing flavor wise lately, but they are so good. It's fentanyl. Getting <laughs> the good buzz. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, if you're not there's a little there. rip in them, but I, I don't know what the rip was from. But I don't know. They're good. Yeah, Woo. yeah. If you're not, if you're, you, you ask him if he's getting a good high. Five minutes later, he could be dead from fentanyl poisoning. But well, I, 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 what, what I, I what, yeah, what, what, be the test, Bill. Okay. What I was yeah. saying is, is that the media has built up the problems. Now, the only one that people can really feel and no exists is when they go to the store and the prices are higher you know marjorie went out made dinner tonight made a night lovely roast chicken and so on uh, everything she bought down there came to 66 mm. bucks you know mm. now, her uh, chicken prices have gone up quite yeah a bit. i mean it's it, yeah. it, you know and so we know that's a problem but who do you blame for that problem do you obama uh, yeah obama, you blame yes. obama yeah no who do you blame for that <laughs> and huh I thought it was Hillary that we blame for. Yeah. Oh, you. <laughs> both of them. But no, but who do you, who do you blame that on? I mean, any politician who tells you elect me, and I will vote so we get prices down, is lying to you. There is nothing anybody can do as a congressman individually to bring prices down. So you he's he's you. lying to you, or she's lying to you. And the same is true of a lot of these other problems. You know, oh, how is uh, how is Ted Cruz going to stop crime? They would well, be Well, but one way he could stop crime is by retiring. But you know, I mean, or or he leaves the country. Yeah, they were giving him the fu at Yank at the Yankee game when they were losing. Yes, they were. He got the he, his father he, killed Kennedy. <laughs> He got a New York. He got a. He got yeah, a, they were giving him the finger and everything. Yeah, they, he got a New York well, welcome. You know, <laughs> uh, you remember Pelosi? Uh, Nancy was brought out for some concert and they booed her. And mm -hmm. then everybody said, "Oh, when they brought DeSantis on the stage to raise money for the people that uh, were uh, hurt during the hurricane, and he was cheered." The left said. Uh, that was wrong. He should not have been brought up there like that, and 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 so forth. No, I don't remember that. One. I don't remember that story no, either. Are these things you make up, Phil. No, no, no. it's just last week. Phil, why don't you do some research for a little bit and show us, and then you can send it to us. Only if you give me the skittles. <laughs> yes, yes, Tony. Alex, I was in stop and shop the other day and i think this is nonsense too and you know I what you do at stop and shop in case people aren't familiar with stop, stop and shop and you shop you stop and then you uh, you shop you know right. what they said wow. by the eggs they have a sign on the freezer chicken shortage you gotta be kidding me no those the are short eggs are so expensive they have whole chicken eggs you know, a dozen. i'm like give me a break you know how they brought down the price of a dozen eggs you only get 10 in a package. <laughs> right. that's, that's how they do it. I, I walked out. I didn't even buy them. I went to Trader Joe's. It's called shrinkflation. It's shrinkflation. It's yes, George. Alan. Yes, Alan. So I want to correct you here, Phil. Pelosi and Cruz. Pelosi is not a senator. Cruz is. Pelosi's not a senator? No. She's a speaker. Isn't oh, she? she's a speaker of the house. That's, that's, that's a news flash. Look at that. Uh, all right. So, so what's the what's the difference? Uh, you know. Uh, what do you mean? The what's the, the difference? Third, what do you mean? The what's third, she's the third most powerful person and third in line for the presidency, or second in line after uh, Harris. Yeah, and I can't figure out who was number three in line for the King of England. You know, come on. <laughs> Never going to see it, Charles. Yeah. No, you got Charles. Oh. Is no, first. Oh, no, second, second, the king, second, also right? third in line. Who? Charles. He, he's he's third in line. He's Charles is third have... in line. Yeah. yeah. What buying who? Uh, who's the uh, the the uh, person the now the uh, prime minister? 
Boy, are um, you uninformed? Oh, no, it's Rivy, Rivy. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Is he talking? Is he talking about King of England? Yes, I was. Yes, he is. He thinks he is. He thinks the Prime Minister is the King of England. No, he's, he's I'm being facetious. No, you're not. You meant every yes, minute. You meant every word of it. <laughs> I'm being facetious. He doesn't uh, know the difference between the, the a king. Doesn't have any power. The, the King of England has very little power. It's a ceremonial position, and uh, it's it's mostly there for fundraising. Yeah, and it's a very expensive thing. I don't like kings, but uh, he likes know. queens. Well, then I don't know why you like Trump. <laughs> well, he was royalty. Uh, Alan, you always get a good one every once in a while. That's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> Well, that's all I have to talk about. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wait, what about Herschel Walker? Come yeah. on, Phil. You oh, skipped God, around all, the, all these different topics, but what about your BFF? Oh, well, you know, I think he's going to do a good that job. Brian. A much There's better job one. than, uh, than uh, War, Warnock. Why, uh, Warnock has been a, con a senator now for two years. He's right. he's He at least knows how where where the bathroom is there. Maybe that's um, all he knows because well he knows what, more what than is, Herschel Walker. Phil, he Phil, votes, Phil, listen he to me, listen Biden. to me, listen to me a second. Herschel Walker is a fucking moron. He even 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 Sean Hannity or Tucker Carlson the other night he, said he was a goddamn moron. I heard that. I heard he that. He said it. God. He said it. Well, who's more of a warrior for God? Herschel Walker, who's giving eighty-four thousand women abortions. Or Warnock, who's a reverend for Christ's sake and has his own church. You know, uh, they uh, when uh, when Kavanaugh wanted to be a Supreme Court justice, uh, people were coming out of the woodwork with all sorts of false accusations. Don't don't you think there's a possibility that these Warnock accusations are fairly false as well? I know well, the Warnock accusations women. are. Yeah. You mean the Walker accusations? Ooh, yeah, Walker you? accusations. Oh, you, not Warnock. Um, well, not Warnock. Uh, Warnock's accusations. Warnock were, Walker. He's evicting people from low-income housing because they didn't pay a small amount of their rent. That that's that's Warnock. Uh, you know, Warnock is uh, is running uh, was that church in uh, in Phil Atlanta? Phil yeah. Walker is a fucking moron. That's well, it. Plain and simple. He hasn't got a brain in his head. He he has. I think. You know, I would much rather. I'm not. I'm not big on having a reverend be in politics. Okay, but if he's yeah. going to be, that's certainly better than a guy who is seriously brain damaged. Well, you know, the guy did say he was in a mental institution for a while, and he said, you know, when I went there, those people are crazy. Are you talking <laughs> about the last president we had here? No, I'm talking about Walker. Uh, he was actually, uh, you know, he he went through some things. At least he understands yeah. what it's like. Uh, to, oh to yeah. Oh, you're you're making excuses for this guy, Phil. He is just a moron. He is I incapable. Really... He and secondly, he isn't again a resident of Georgia. He was living in Texas all these years. He he went to Georgia as a school. That's where he got his fame and his uh, his uh, what do you call it? Heisman Trophy. But he he's from Texas. He grew up in Georgia. No, he, he didn't Georgia. grow up in Georgia. Car Cartersville, Georgia, I believe. Uh, he yeah, said he that... He grew up in Georgia, but they played for the Cowboys, so he moved to Texas. Well, and I mean, you know, him. hey, uh, Alex grew up in San Francisco, but, uh, you know, he played for WPLJ, so he lived in New York. You know? I, lived in Texas for 30 that is years. maybe the worst excuse for that something was a horrible that analogy. I've ever heard in my uh, life. That all right. Well... Phil I never I heard you on serious. Phil, you should have you should have stayed at the restaurant longer. <laughs> yeah, Alan nice. and I had a wonderful meal tonight. Absolutely, New York State Strip. Yeah. And Ruth Chris. Do you and guys Phil ever Walker. eat anything besides they steak? Everything is steak. Oh, yeah. Because I, I want to eat anything. I can't besides. wait to visit. I'm going to be the one not eating the steak. Uh, it was. It was. Off the hook. It was you, such a good steak. Tony, you think a dozen eggs at five dollars are expensive? You ought yeah. to come with us to Ruth. Oh, Chris probably see the, don't let me see How the much bill. is a steak think, now, Ruth? Chris. Ruth. Sixty-nine Chris. dollars per steak. What? How much? Sixty-nine dollars per steak. I think we had the sixty-one dollar steak. We didn't oh, get the boring. 
You paid uh, the bill. I don't know. Sixty. Yeah. yeah. For a New York steak, no twenty-three no. for two steaks. So no he pay. Potato. So he does he always pay? Who picks up the tab? He picks up the he picks up the tab yeah. a lot. He's a good okay. Guy. Well, then that's uh, no. It's not a good guy. It's just a guy you can take advantage of. <laughs> I I chose to do it. You know, he spent an hour and a half in traffic getting up here. The least I could do. You for know. all that gas, I was fifty nine, sixty one dollars worth of gas worth right of there, gas. especially in his truck. Yeah, yeah. So and, uh, yeah. yeah, and oh, we uh, we had the ahi tuna. Absolutely. Had, uh, what was the uh, thing? Uh, sweet the, potato. Sweet potato. Split this huge sweet potato. I hate I hate sweet potatoes. They make really? me throw up. Oh, this was so good. This was like dessert. It was so good. Now, now, what doesn't make me throw up is what uh, our friend uh, is eating there. Yep. You lick, you you peel off all the chocolate first and then eat it, right? That's because it falls yeah. off if you don't eat it first. Do you like the you like the do you like the new flavor as much yeah, as okay. the other? I, I like the old chocolate because the chocolate was solid and everything. This one's okay. Yeah. It's not bad, but then I like this to melt a little bit and then it's. Mm. Uh, what is, new, what is the new flavor? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Larkin. He's alive. It's John Larkin, ladies and gentlemen. It's hey, what's a, up? Guest. Yeah. It says John Lark, however. Yeah. Did you, have you changed yeah. your name? It was no. cheaper than the, the extra letters. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm on my I'm on my um, I, iPad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Turn it sideways. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a better... I got a new one too the other day. There we go. Oh, that yeah. looks much better. See, that fills out the whole screen. Yep. They're yeah. nice. iPad Pro. Yeah. I've never had one. I've had these stupid little Samsung tablets. This thing oh. is night and day. Oh, yeah. No. Day oh, no. The iPad Pro, I have one too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're good. Sure They're really good. good. I don't know I how I've them. lived without it this long. Uh, well, now, I like everybody. the size of that. Yeah. Go ahead, John. I like sorry. anything that's on How's everybody hand. doing? We're doing okay, and yourself? No complaints. Still, yeah. still breathing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All good. They they still have shows. Uh, uh, you're still doing the shows? Yeah, that's uh, that's. I'm working a lot. You know, at mm -hmm. like three different theaters. So. Yeah. You're what working. You which, which theaters are you working? Want? The Warfield. The Warfield, the Golden Gate, and the Orpheum. Mm-hmm. Yeah. None of those they are X-rated, John. <laughs> My father used yeah. to work at the Warfield in the in the orchestra when they had an orchestra. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, really? Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, in those uh, in those days, point. those movie the those were movie theaters, yeah. and what they did was, I think, six times a day they had a about a forty five minute show that they did with a full orchestra and acts and a main act. You know, in the ca in one case when I was there, uh, it was Lena Horne. You know. And she worked six shows a day, you know. Wow. So. I like I like the Paramount in Oakland. They have a, a, a pipe organ in the place. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a very nice. That's a very nice theater. I went and saw Napoleon there with a full orchestra, symphony orchestra. Wow, that was a long time ago, a couple hundred years ago. No, it was when I got married eleven years ago. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We were there, okay. and we met Shecky out there to go to the showing of Napoleon. Which is a five and a half hour film, silent film. Holy uh, shit. It had an intermission. And it had a oh dinner break, is what we had, and it was. Mar uh, Marjorie went with me, and she said, "Well, we're going to see what a five and a half hour silent film." By the time it was over, she said, "Where did the time go?" She no. said, "That was the shortest time I ever spent in a movie theater." Good thing he didn't take Bill. He has to piss every hour like a woman. But but they had a full size orchestra there, symphony orchestra, with a score by uh, Carl, the guy named Carl Davis, and he. It was just wonderful. It was just, it it just grabbed you. The music was just incredible. But anyway, that, that that's a great theater, and it's Absolutely. it's one of the few theaters left. You know, a lot of those movie palaces, the ones that still exist. You know what they all are? X rated. No. Ch no churches, oh, because they wow. were big and spectacular. So mm -hmm. the the like here, cr catty corner to this apartment house is a building, and that was the first movie palace in America. It was it was converted from a normal movie theater by Roxy, 
to a movie palace with fountains and everything. Mm -hmm. And it went through, you know, good times, bad times, whatever, and finally was bought up by a, by a church. And they do it there. And they, the, the ones that have been restored have been restored because these evangelists have taken them over. So, anyway. But nobody here remembers movie palaces, or do you? The, uh, the, uh, in Berkeley, there's the uh, UC Theater, which... Uh, no, but that was just a theater. Airy, that was just a theater. Uh, took over. But they used to have a, a very famous show there. The, uh, what, what's, what was the uh, thing that they, uh, they did on Halloween? Uh, it's called Trick or Treat. No, no, no. It's the uh, Rocky Horror. It's, it's, it, yeah, Rocky Horror. Rocky Horror. They still do it there. That's uh, not a show, Phil. That's a movie, and people throw tissue at the screen. No, no. There's a movie, and they also had live. They had li They have live characters at the uh, UC Theater. It, that, that's the way they were doing Rocky Horror in every city in America, Phil. Yeah, well, yeah, for for still, years it was done there. That wasn't that wasn't like a theater that was made to do theatrical stuff. I, I thought know. you told me the last time you were there was when Sean Cassidy was live. No, no. Uh, but, uh, anyway, here here comes Bree. Did a by really the way, beautiful job there of restoring okay. it. Bree, Bree, yeah, I see him. He isn't. He hasn't clicked his button yet, though. So. All he was, that where Bree, is it? Bree from Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I thought he had a tip and he left for good. Well, we have a little something, you know, it happens, and then, then people come back and we enjoy having them back. <laughs> it's and kind I'm of just, like Twitter. But I, 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 I let him join and uh, he's not clicking his button, so, you know. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I'm trying to think of what else has been happening in, in the news. Well, of course, we had, but how do you people feel about uh, Elon Musk and Twitter? Anything? Yeah. Good, good for the San Francisco oh, economy. Yeah. You know what yeah, Twitter he's firing, is? he's firing everybody. He's going to try to run it himself. No. Well, no. yeah, just by himself? No. Well, no. He's, cutting, he's cutting expenses. He, well, he's cutting. He, he, uh, he's got a skeleton crew running the place. Do you, re now. Do you remember the furniture mark? It's like a. Yeah. I not only I remember, I, I never, yeah. I, I not only remember the furniture mart. I used to do my show out of the furniture mart. Really? I used to have yeah. an office on the second I, floor there. Champion Market. Right. You know yeah. where the switchboard is yeah. on the second floor? Well, that's Twitter's headquarters. Yeah. Well, I I had an office in the next to the switchboard. It used to be the furniture mart, and right. we were on the uh, we were on the on the right. bottom floor, and we had a side entrance. Mm -hmm. And yep. and that's where I first had a studio audience. I only I could only fit about ten people, twelve people in there. Yeah. But uh, you know that's where you know we what? did that's it. A, um, that's a that's a um uh shoot it's that Mexican restaurant um you know what the Chavis. hell is it called Chevy's no Alfredo. it's like Chevy's but it El was Alfredo. 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 Huh? El Fritos no it was like uh. Jack in the Box. Adam. Mexico Lindo. Taco Bell. Something. Taco Bell. Um, Bell. Well, are we going to be here all night trying to name a Mexican <laughs> restaurant? But it's, it's a famous Mexican restaurant now. Oh, famous. Uh, well, kind of famous. Famous San Francisco. It was like one of the first Tex-Mex restaurants in the, in, in the nation. That sounds like Chevy's. Chili's. Even before those guys. Um, I kept falling asleep. All right. Yeah, you fall asleep. You don't like Mexican. Yeah. All, all, uh, anybody else have a Mexican restaurant they want to name? Uh, Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Been named. No, no, no. <laughs> Who give a fuck? Oh. Cadillac Bar and Grill. Oh, I remember the Cadillac. Oh, that's yeah, that was at the parking lot. Mission yeah. Street. Yeah, but that's not that's not in that's not there. That's yeah, not in is. the same building. It's now it's now in your right where your studio used to be, right there. It's, that's it, where it is. Uh, you couldn't fit a restaurant in that small space. It was so small. That well, they remodeled it. It's a lot bigger. I now. had a, I had a, a program director had an office, and he had a grating, kind of a ceiling with grating above him, and and rats would pigeons would come along and poop on his desk. That's how bad this studio was. That was the talent. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. They were imported from the Republican National Committee. Yeah, well, here comes Bree. Let's try him again here. Let's see here. Right. Let's see if he's if he if he pops the button there, you know. But we've allowed him to join. Anyway, uh, let me think here. Anything else that I uh, that I was uh, dealing with? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, but I, I really think the American public, uh, I mean, the Republicans, of course, have done a good job of selling the big lie about, mm -hmm. you know, that the economy is the Democrats' fault. It's not. It's really not. It, and I wouldn't say it was the Republicans' fault no, either. I wouldn't either. Uh, it, it, we a, had, we, we had a little fault. thing. We had a little thing, ladies and gentlemen. It was called COVID, and that caused great economic strain on the mm -hmm. country. Okay. And that's what what you you know what you have to blame it on among a few other uh, problems. Hello there, Bree. There he is finally. You yep. know. Yeah. Yeah. And the inflation is global. If, yeah, yeah, and in fact, in Europe. fact, I looked at the inflation uh, mm -hmm. uh, numbers worldwide, mm -hmm. and we we've got it the best of anybody. Yeah. We're at like four point nine percent or something, and the closest oh, thing. we're at nine point something. Or yeah, but something. but still, uh, uh, to begin with, the this, the one closest to us is in the teens, and I can't remember what country it the was. UK, has a the UK is ten percent, and Germany is is right up around there. But the one thing that they no, but there's one other country I saw that was at forty eight percent. Yeah, that's yeah. Venezuela probably. No, 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 no. It was like France or Germany or something like that. It was, you know, where Italy. where Europe is, they're having their problems is they uh, Russia turned off the gas uh, to Germany. Was that Nord Stream pipe, pipeline? Nord. And that is causing massive inflation in Europe. Not the same reason that we're having the inflation here. Electric heaters are the thing to buy in Germany right now. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's uh, not be able to heat how are gas prices where you are, uh, Bree? Well, you know, you always ask me this, Alex, and it, I don't know because I don't drive. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't. No, I no, know no. Oh, oh, okay. How how bad is inflation there now? It, it's getting worse. the The prices are definitely going yeah. up. So it's um, not only I here. I got a call from my. Eight. Yeah. Yeah, I got a call from my agent today. They want to raise my rent if I, you know to re-sign because my lease is coming up and I said uh let's can we just keep it the same and I'll sign another year but if you're going to raise it I'm going to start looking and so we'll rents are goes. going down in the states well yeah uh, not, uh, oh, well, not around here yeah well <laughs> it, it, the point is that that you know uh for all you want to blame ladies and gentlemen this on Biden it's not him. It's worldwide. It is. It's not exclusive to here. And we actually have it better than they do. And some things have gotten better. The employment. You know, there are two jobs available for everybody who wants one. I yeah. mean, we the, the, jobs are out there. You know. Yes, uh, Alan. So this is, I guess, from what I understand, the fifth time in the last hundred years that the whole world is in recession. All the major countries country sometimes it's one country or another so you you know and, and everybody wants to blame biden how does biden control the rest of the world All right you know totally. i mean it's For not trump's, it's not trump's fault either you know i mean it, just, if you go back to where did these raise in prices happen it happened as a result of covid well, you I know would, the cost of living uh and and, uh, and and once covid got better do you think these people lowered their prices no no, they got used well, to making a bundle, and they're and, continuing uh, I, to do. I, it. Hmm? I would add uh, Trump's massive tax cut uh, contributed quite a bit to it too. That just mm -hmm. not around the world, money. John. Maybe here, but no. Not I no, I agree. I agree. Yeah. You know, somebody. I, mean, I would love to. I would love to blame Trump, and I think yes, to a certain extent, he's partially at fault for a little bit of it. Uh, but for me to say that he was responsible for that is to then agree with the Republicans that it's Biden's fault now. You know, I don't think a politician did this. I think this was a matter of uh, of greed, to be, be very honest with you. Yeah. You know, and... and yep. <clears throat> when when you see the expensive. gas prices top up, you know, top over $7 a gallon over here, and then everything started coming down, there were definitely some gas stations that were holding on to some of those prices where the majority of them are going down. The, one, the ones down. closest to the freeway 
mm-hmm. always had the highest prices. Did you ever notice that? Yes. Yep. Yep. Convenience. Yes. yes. Who had their hand up? Oh, you know what? You know what? I was. I could have heard this wrong. I heard. I. I'm, I heard that Shanghai is is uh, closed down again because of COVID. Uh, could be. I, was I don't. Getting, I don't know. Oh, but no, it could. They, they closed down Disney Shanghai Disneyland, and people couldn't get out of there because they somebody came down with COVID, and you everybody that was in the park had to stay. So, so you mean they had China, this? They had to stay there. Yeah. Yeah, and get tested. Can yeah. you mm-hmm. imagine if if you were? I had a friend once. Lock them in the who, small. Who was who went to Disney World? <laughs> and um, he decided to go on the. It's a small world ride. Which if you ever go to Disney World, that's the one ride to just stay away from. It is. <laughs> it is so bad. It is. It's horrible. Okay. And um, they, um, uh, as they were going through the ride, it broke down. Now, I don't know if you know how that ride works, but every time you would turn into a new area, you got a new part of the song because all these were on a loop. So if you were to just stand in one place in the ride, you would hear the same song, part of the song, over and over again. And he's stuck in this boat with da 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 Da, 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 and that was for three hours. I'll, he said I'll it never... literally drove him crazy. Yes. So, so I think I know the reason why your egg prices are higher, Tony. The only time I've been in a small world, which was like 30 years ago, the lady sitting next to me got hit in the face with a raw egg. Really? I'm, sure, I'm sure it was intended for me. But listen, this ride was stalled so long that when he looked over to the side of him, there were some of these animatronics playing poker. You know, it was... <laughs> that was a great time. I was stalled on it for like 15 minutes, and it drove me nuts. So you, you've we're gone through stalled. the... They should have we're... a way of getting people out of there or turning the goddamn music off. Yeah. Take the teacup ride. It's really scary. Oh, we're cool. stalled on the Harry Potter, and the Harry Potter's like two people sit in this thing, and it's sort of the crane like moves you around through you this thing that right. line, and we got, got stuck on it only like five minutes, but it's like we're sort of sideways, and it's like, oh my god! <laughs> Can you imagine the people on these corkscrew roller coasters that get stuck upside down? Oh, or just up, just up, you know, when they're going up and they get stuck yep. up there, then they got to get out of that and walk down. Oh my god! No yeah, thanks. Not me. I'll just sit yeah. there and wait till the power comes back. Yeah, Jeff was looking at his wristwatch. Uh, look, look, is this almost over? <laughs> that's, that's that's the look we I got He's from doing him. Heart rate. He's, doing He's a heart looking rate for the job. Cadillac bar. Yeah. Is there yeah. anything you want to say tonight, Jeff? Oh, let's see. No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Hey, thank you for uh, inviting me. Now let's 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 get a little have a little fun here because I saw pictures that uh, the Brian posted of he and Adrian trick or treating. Oh my god! Oh, that yeah. was quite a costume you had, friend. Who made me? that? Where'd you yeah, get that? That's an old one, but the mask is really scary. So we would go trick or treating, and she would walk up to the house. <clears throat> And you know, trick or treat, and the people would put the. They say, "Oh, so cute!" You know, look at Adrian. Oh, so cute! And they would put the candy in, and they get they lean back up and they close the door, and they would see me, and the light, you know, the lights would be hitting me, and I'm that guy with this big with this big axe handle with a big saw blade, all bloody, and I'd just be standing there, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they see me when they're closing the door, and they just they're blank stare, and they just slowly close the door. It was hilarious. How many, how many kids did you get, Brian? Huh? How many uh, visitors? <laughs> uh, how many kids uh, came for candy? Oh no, we went and walked around. So, but do you think know. with Adrian, it was really appropriate to have her go as a sexy nurse? No, as a sexy nurse. <laughs> he had an axe handle to chase off the guys. <laughs> no, what did she? What was she dressed as? She looked great. Yeah, she was like a sort of a, a clown murder thing, but she didn't want to do the makeup and all stuff. You no, know, so, kids yeah. love Halloween. Mm. Oh, they it's, had it, 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 it's, around the yeah. So around the corner, this is the first year we did this area. Usually we go to our friends' area, but our friends are like the old our older kids, too old now. So I took Adrian around here, and mm. it's huge over here, Almond Valley. 
they had a couple a couple driveways where it's like alcohol bar for the parents and then candy for the kids. Oh, there was one cool. that these guys called the Almaden Almaden Brewers uh, put on at their house, and it's a club that these guys homebrew beer around here, and they always do it at Halloween. So they were serving beers all night. And uh, so all the parents were at that house, and they had music going, and it was like a big party. Well, every year, the big party in Hollywood that somebody holds is Heidi Klum holds a Halloween party. Uh, and she always spends a fortune on her mm-hmm. Halloween costume. Had you seen, did you see hers this year? Mm-hmm. Oh. She was a tapeworm. She was a, ta- <laughs> she was a worm. Uh, worm? Yes. They call her a tapeworm. It was an amazing costume. Just an amazing mm-hmm. costume. Uh, and, uh, you know, and it was Heidi Klum, so I was the first, you know, worm that ever gave me a, a, a stiffy, you know, <laughs> but. Posted her on your show. But no, but I, uh, you I know. you can't even see her. See, I always, I never, I never really liked Halloween because I didn't like wearing costumes. Oh, there she is. Look at that. Wow. And there was wow. somebody with a fishing pole and it, she was on. The fishing pole. It's her husband, yeah. Here, though. yeah. Where is she? Yeah, but look at that. Isn't that a great costume? Yeah, wow. Well, walk around. That's yeah. gross. Looks like your colon fell out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got, no, no trick or treaters came to really? came to my apartment. And a friend of mine in Mill Valley, she said that she had three hundred kids come to her house. Mm. That's because he, the the Trump for president sticker on your door. Nobody <laughs> wanted to come to it. You know, uh, you, you know what happened is uh, my mm. mother was never good at making Halloween costumes, uh, and uh, every year I went as the same thing over and over again. A pi- a pirate. Oh. Here's this the reason good. why. All she had to do was find a blouse for me to wear. Put a pair of jeans on me. She cut out a cardboard sword. Then she got a scarf and made that uh, for the midsection area, right? And we put the sword in there. And then she put a couple of her earrings in my ears. Okay. Uh, They were clip-on earrings. And then a bandana. You know, actually today, I would make a good drag queen in that outfit. (laughs) But uh, that was my outfit, like five years running. Uh, all I got was a pillowcase and a Nixon mask. <laughs> you know, they were the I heard pants. I heard that Trump opened the door and there were fifteen FBI agents and he started to hand them candy. Now in Malay in Malaysia do they do they do Halloween? Just a little bit. Some people do, some people don't, but uh mm. you uh, can now, definitely buy Halloween stuff. The schools will do like Halloween Friday where the kids can wear their costume. But isn't there. that but pr- in, in Seoul, Korea? In Seoul, Korea, there was a Halloween celebration, and 150 people yeah. were crushed and killed. They were trampled to death, or something. And, and I think yeah. another 150 on top of that were injured. Oh, too bad. Don't go to Seoul, and, including Korea two Halloween. Americans. Yeah, well, they got so compressed they became one boy band. Yeah, yeah. Really? So. <laughs> that's cute. And the guy up north started throwing bombs. Oh yeah, we got we got uh, we got uh, Trump's pal, uh, Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un, yeah. the one he, he oh, sent yeah. love letters he to. He just dying to get into well, a there, war. There were no missiles aimed at Japan when Trump was president. Oh, give me a break! No. Bullshit. Oh, they I were mean, aimed Trump at Japan. Got him, Trump got him to cease all the tests and to uh, and to not no. fire the missiles. Look, in Japan, yeah. they're, they're, still... they're sheltering in place uh, <clears throat> over, over this. You know? Yeah. He still did it's some testing. Of you know, I, Phil. So, so you know, you're saying I, Trump I, was on the same level as Dennis Rodman then. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dennis Rodman, <laughs> the peacemaker. I, I saw a, a, a mime Christ. that had Dennis Rodman. It's called. It's called a meme. A mime has meme. Meme. Oh it oh tries to God. get out of a box. It's, it's kind of like a gaff, right? He was sitting below Kim Jong Un, mm. and a guy whispers to Kim Jong Un, "That's not Obama." And, you know, <laughs> I, I thought it was very cute. <laughs> Tony's laughing. None of us get it, but Tony's laughing. <laughs> yeah. Well, the me- What about the meme I sent you? Uh, that was uh, Herschel Walker at the uh, Halloween. 
He said, when kids knock on my door, I don't know if they're looking for candy or child support. <laughs> I know, that was funny. Oh, I love that. That was a good one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And, and then, of course, you know, you get down in, in Philadelphia. You've got Dr. Oz, oh, okay. a man who yeah. doesn't even, up until running for office, live in, in, yeah. in, in Pennsylvania. Uh, he lives on the coast of Pennsylvania. He lives on the yeah, coast. Yeah, that's what I heard, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I mean, against, you're, against and you're worried about Herschel Walker, but Fetterman doesn't scare you. No, Fetterman, <laughs> Fetterman doesn't scare me at all. I, you know, I realize that you know, and don't make light of him because we have somebody here who has aphasia not, as well, and has survived it and done very well, and is a very intelligent person. Yes, but he's not trying to run the country. No, yeah. no, he's not trying to run the country at all. He just wants to be a senator. And Fetterman has quite the qualifications for the job. And, and it's, uh, yeah, uh, communist. Uh, he, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Will you, oh, you stop that? You wouldn't know a communist if they came and bit you if, in the ass. If you want to talk about high crime, when he was the mayor of whatever city he was the mayor of, uh, the crime rate went up. The, uh, Bullshit. Uh, the, the murder rate, rate went to zero. Uh, yeah, and because most of the people moved out. No, the uh, murder rate. He just said the murder rate went to zero. Phil, how do you which answer that? Which one of those one? is you, John? He said the crime rate went up. The one on the right. Okay. Two to three one. Everybody got one. Yeah. The one on the right to me has got. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. I want to clear something up. You say, Charlie, that the crime rate didn't go up. No. No, it went down. I don't think he, he's it not right. Down. The crime rate. Crime rate in uh, when Fetterman was mayor of whatever podunk town he was mayor of uh, went up substantially. And he also, for the people that were killed, he put the dates uh, in a tattoo on his arm. Right. He was mayor for 13 years and he had 10 dates on his arm. There was only 1,100 people that lived in that town. There's more Not than true. people. Get, get you don't even know what, what town was it, Phil? I forget. Well, do you see that? Then you don't even know what town it was. What state was it in, Phil? (laughs) It was in in the case of Phil. It was in the state of denial. It was in Mississippi. Must be. uh, I don't know. In the town of. Okay, I'll look look that up. There you go. (laughs) What? (laughs) That's Phil Statman. Oh. You should have saw him eating steak with those in. They must be the they well, that's the what they looked like after he ate the steak. <laughs> yeah, steak was really good. Yeah, th- there's one thing, Ruth Chris. You know, for a for a. It isn't Ruth. Customer. It isn't Ruth. Ruth's Chris. Chris. Ruth's Chris. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, it, if you want consistency, no matter where you go in the country, you go to a mm-hmm. Ruth's Chris. You're going to get. The same kind of thing. You're gonna get a very good meal. Now there are other steakhouses that are far. You don't even, know, you don't even need to go there for consistency. McDonald's has. Consistency. I was just gonna say that you go to McDonald's everywhere. So yeah, you go for yeah. yeah. Big, big well, meal. let me uh, play. It's all this. garbage at McDonald's, but you know. Well, there's our theme song. Luckily, you know. Oh, but uh, good, nice night tonight, and a lot of people uh, were were listening, which was amazing. You know. Maybe we're, maybe we're, I don't know, maybe we're on the mend here. I don't know. But uh, anyway, thank you, Phil, for uh, helping me during the first part of the program. And it's always a pleasure. Uh, Jeff, always good to see you here. Uh, Likewise. The poster boy for aphasia. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, he's a perfect example of don't worry about Fetterman. You know, you can survive it. You That's can, right. You can have I a good life. I would vote for Jeff. Before I'd vote for Fetterman. Well, because you, 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 you're just a stupid <coughs> Republican. Anyway, you thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you. I always love having you here, Charlie. Uh, Tony, not so much, but thank you for calling <laughs> us. You know, it's nice having you here. Uh, uh, John, good to see you again. And, of course, our, our good friend uh, Brian is here, and we thank him. And, of course, Bree. Nice to see you calling us again, Bree. It's always nice to have you here. Always nice to have somebody from another country. Anyway, everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, and uh, we'll call it a night. Thank you, everybody. Okay? I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, You know who's next? Yes, of course. Yeah, it's our old pal, 
uh, Jack Bishop. He's going to be doing uh, the intersection, and he'll take your calls on uh, on Skype at uh, GabNet Live is what you call to talk to him. Give him a call. He's really terrific, and it's a good show. I'll be back again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, of course, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Good night. <laughs>